All right, so we're going to show uh, an example of how to do the first step in, in the payment application process. So you're going to be signing on to Procore. You're going to choose the actual project that you're on. And we're going to go to the financial tools over here, commitments. And you have to choose your subcontract, which is the only one that you'll be able to see. We'll go ahead and view it. And if you want to, you can hide this sidebar, give you a little bit more of a view. Um, so real quickly, this contract, again, this is just a, a template um, just to show you how it is. But here's your contract sum, uh, change orders, your new contract, and how much has been paid to date. So the first step that we'll need to do in the payment application process is you actually have to create the invoice. After you create the invoice, then that will come to us automatically. You have to do nothing. We'll review it once it's approved then a release, partial release of lien will occur. So first thing is you're gonna go over here in the right hand column, create the invoice, and you're gonna choose the invoice start date, which for this period, it's a little weird because we did a half a month, but it will typically be uh, the first of the month through the 30th or 31st. Um, this is actually the billing date, which is the 25th and the invoice number is your second invoice. So the way that we've broken this down is to make it as simple as possible. For this one, it's um, actually a cleaning contract um, and they will be doing a total of um, 176 two bedrooms, 49 one bedroom. So uh, again, this is a hypothetical example, but what I'm gonna go in here and you're just gonna do a simple calculation. So if this is, um, the first units were 12 and now they've done another 24. So it's 36 units divided by your 176. So you have now done 20.45%. So you just put in here 20.45%. It automatically calculates out here. And let's say hypothetically it's a little bit off. You can simply go over here. I'm just changing the number. But you can automatically go over here and then it'll <clears throat> automatically change the percentage. Um, let's say this one we did 10%, again, automatically calculates if it's wrong or slightly off, you can simply just put 800, I'm gonna put 900, and that's your base contract. So this is the base contract at the top of the page, and here are your change orders. So for this one, um, this was a reclaim that we did a change order for. This has already been billed 100%. You obviously can't bill any more for that. And this is um, cleaning of the outside of the buildings. Uh, again, a hypothetical example. I just threw a, there's 18 buildings, uh, $18,000. So let's say we're done with um, two buildings, right? So it's two divided by 18, which is gonna be 11%. So you go in here and you put 11.11% because that's as far as you're done. Um, and we're gonna go submit for review. And I'm going to put this on hold for a second. Okay, so I'm back to the point where the uh, uh, invoice has been approved. At that point, you'll see approved right here. And all you're going to do is go to that invoice. You're going to click this export button, and it's going to automatically create your payment application. All that needs to be done is simply print this paper. Um, Sign, sign and date the information for the notary right here. And then you're just going to uh, drag it back over to the uh, add a file, which is right here at the bottom. So let's just say that file was uh, printed and notarized. You're gonna simply, I'm just gonna pick a file. You're gonna just drag it over here and actually do me a favor. Um, we're gonna label these instead of having different names for everything. Um, hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. Just wanted to relabel this. Please put payment application so we can decipher from one to the other. And you should be able to just drag it over here. Which for whatever reason. It's okay, it's gotta change colors. Now it is populating. And that's the first piece of the puzzle. You're just going to save it. At that point, it's going to send us an email. And we're going to review it one more time just to make sure it's correct. And then you will get a release of lien, uh, partial release of lien, excuse me. And I'm going to show you that in the next video. But the first step of this process, your payment application is done. Um, and then we'll go into the next video, which will be release of liens. Thank you.